Hello everyone, it's your girl Cassandra Olivia back with another video. So today's video is sponsored by a company called Hair Spells and they sent me this wig. It comes in this packaging. I'm just gonna show you guys real quickly how the pattern looks when you first pull it out. It is 180% density, Brazilian deep wave. It's a lace frontal and it's 20 inches. So I'm just gonna throw this on here. And of course you guys know I like to pluck and customize my frontals. So I'm gonna go in with the spray bottle and saturate the hair and separate the part that's already pre-plucked. And then I'm gonna go right behind that and start plucking the hairline even more just to give it a more natural look. So this is how it looked after I plucked one side, but I still wanted to go in and pluck it a little bit more. I'm just showing you guys how one side looks once I started plucking it versus the other side. And already you can tell that it's starting to look a lot better than it does. So now I'm just gonna go in in the center and on the left side and make sure I do the same thing. And then I'm gonna kinda eyeball it to see how much hair I wanna take out. Okay, so now she's looking perfect. I'm gonna probably go in and pluck just a tiny bit more, but so far so good. This is a close up, and then I'm just gonna go in and bleach the knots after I'm done plucking. But I did go ahead and just pluck just a tiny bit more. Um, you can pluck as little as you want or as much as you want. It really doesn't matter. You just wanna make sure you don't pluck too much because over time these do thin out. So I like to pluck along the front of the hairline a lot to make it look realistic, but I don't pluck too much behind that, about like an inch to a half an inch. And that's it because I don't want to make the hair too thin. So yeah, I took a lot of hair out of this wig, but now she is done. I'm going to bleach the knots and then I'm going to come back and pop her on my head. So now she's bleached and I'm just fitting her on my head, trying to see how she's fitting. And all I did was use the adjustable straps on the side. I did want her to be glueless because you guys know I hate gluing my units down. I like them to be able to be removed at night. So yeah, I'm just measuring this and seeing where I want it to lay, making sure everything looks nice. And then I'm gonna go in and start to cut the lace. I like to do one side at a time and I do like to take my time guys. So yeah, when you do this part, just make sure you're taking your time and you're looking and you're not rushing through this because you don't wanna cut too far into the hairline, trust me. So now I'm doing the same thing to the other side, just making sure everything is laying nice and flat. And I just wanna show you guys how good this looks up close without being glued down. This hairline looks so realistic and I don't have to do any baby hair. You guys know I'm team no baby hair, so I love the fact that this can be completely glueless and it's laying super flat and I don't need a lot of baby hair to try to make it look realistic. So I'm just moving this around. I like to do this whenever I put my units on and I'm in the privacy of my own house, but I was being weird on camera, I decided to leave it in, but I like to just move it around to make sure that it's not going to fall off and it's gonna be secure. So this is how the hairline looks. Still glue this guys, but look how flat this is laying. This hair was bomb.com. So I'm definitely gonna link everything down in the description box below. Let me plug that in really quickly. Also like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And yeah, I'm just taking a look at how this is laying and she's laying super flat. Now to make sure that this is super glueless and it's not gonna move anywhere, I would put some mousse on it and mold it to my hair and I'll probably wear a scarf for about 30 minutes. But because I'm just gonna pop this on for this video and take it off, I'm not gonna do that. But here I am just showing you guys the texture. This hair has water only in it. I did not add any product. And as you can see, she's looking real, She's looking real nice. So I was feeling her a lot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I'm just gonna play around with her and kinda um, show you guys different ways to finesse this hair. And I was super obsessing over how realistic this hairline looks, so don't mind me if I'm staring at it, but I was just really super amazed that this was super blended and it was laying, so yeah. I'm gonna show you guys how long this hair is. It is 20 inches, but I'm 5'2", so every hair seems like it's super long on me, but that's just because I'm vertically challenged, so yeah. 
this hair was bomb.com i do love the natural texture so i don't think i'm gonna put too many products in it because i don't like to um compromise like the natural pattern of the hair and yeah, she's looking super full i love how the curls aren't super perfect and it's giving me like these messy waves i think the unit is gorgeous and i would definitely wear this every day and probably put her in a bun on the days that i don't want to have hair all down my back but this curl pattern was popping honey so um i'm gonna finish doing my little outro thank you guys so much for watching i'll leave everything in the description box down below i'll tag hair spells thank you guys so much for reaching out to me to do this collab and yeah i'm feeling myself and i hope everybody has a wonderful evening don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video bye